welcome everybody. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me about how to connect autoresponder to your website and in this particular video I'm going to show you guys how to do that, okay? Also guys, if you guys um, need any help on how to connect autoresponder to your blog or any other of your um, products on your website uh, stay with me until the end of this video and I'm sure you guys are gonna get a lot of information out of this video also I'll be um, there's more videos guys that I have that I have been made on how to get a domain where to buy a domain how to convert a domain into a tracking domain how to convert uh, your personal domain into into a host domain which is which in this case I use Bluehost how to um, how to connect your social media to your website? How to how to link uh, YouTube to your website or blog? This is the right channel, guys. Okay, so uh, but in this particular video, guys, I'm gonna teach you guys how to connect autoresponder to your website. And in this case, I'm using WordPress. So I'm gonna take you guys to my website. Uh, let's just wait for it to download and once you guys are, are already in your website you're gonna go on your left side of your screen we're gonna go where it says pages and then inside your pages where uh, whichever of the buttons you want to include the autoresponder in this case, if I want to include an autoresponder in About Me page, as you can see, About Me page right here. If you want to add a newsletter or you want to add an autoresponder, we are going to have to do that through, as you can see right here, here is a, a link that I added on my website where people can get redirected to another website, okay? Anyways, so in order for you to add autoresponder to your website you have to have an uh, a, uh, an autoresponder software in this case I'm using get response and get response works really good with me um, it always sends emails every time I wanted to every time I schedule my emails with get response I have never had an issue with get response okay and so I am already here inside my website I'm, I want to We, we're gonna we're gonna add autoresponder to one of the pages inside my website, right? So this is what I'm gonna do, guys. Sorry, it's loading. So here's the edit option. I'm gonna edit this part right here, and I'm gonna add my autoresponder. And as you can see, I already have my newsletter. My newsletter is this right here. This is my newsletter right here. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys, hold on. I hope you guys can see it. This is my newsletter right here. And then inside of these little squares, I have another code right there, which is going to be my autoresponder and my affiliate link. And in order to do this, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this real quick, okay? So, as you can see, guys, this is my new letter. So we're gonna go back to, to the edit page inside WordPress. This is my new letters. Here's what I wrote and this is how it looks. The best online training in the world to start your online business, blah, blah, blah. So here it is, the best online training in the world to start your online business, blah, 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 right? Okay. And then the heading number two. This is the heading number two. And then the text button, the extra button, the recipient email, 
the, the take action button is gonna look like this. This is the take action button right here. If I click on it, it's gonna redirect me to my products that I'm selling, okay? Anyways, so that's that. And then uh, I told you guys that I was gonna sh teach you how to connect autoresponder to your website, okay? So we're gonna go to what it says, autoresponder. Remember the first step you gotta do is go to, in, go to, Go inside your uh, website. In this case, I'm using WordPress. There is also GoDaddy. There is uh, Wix. There's so many other options, right? But I love WordPress. WordPress has been working has been working for me really good, and I have not had any issues with this particular software. So I love it. Anyway, so remember, first the first step is we're gonna go inside our website, and then inside our website we're gonna go towards the pages. And then from pages, you choose where, uh, wherever page you want to integrate autoresponder to, okay? Anyway, so I'm trying to add an autoresponder to my homepage, right? So this is it. This is the newsletter. And inside the newsletter, you're going to have the autoresponder. I'm going to click on the autoresponder right here. And as you can see, uh, right here gives you the options. There is, I in this particular case I'm using get response there's also a Weber convert kit I have used all these three a Weber convert kit I have not used infusion neither active campaign so I kind of I have more knowledge with get response to be honest and I like it and right here where it says where it says IP let me show you guys real quick oh, I'm sorry so as you can see guys, right here where it says, where it says API key, you get this from get response, inside, inside get response. And then we're gonna scroll down. This right here, list token. This right here guys, I'm gonna show you guys where to get it, okay? So uh, if you have an autoresponder already, uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure all of the autoresponders will work pretty much just pretty much the same. There might be a few things that change inside their their software, but I'm sure every autoresponder it allows you to copy their i their uh, their API key and list token, so that way you get in. Uh, you have it. You have everything organized, and you are gonna be able to store store those emails okay anyways so this is how you do it uh how did i how did i get the uh api key i'm gonna log in inside my get response auto responder i'm already here so i'm gonna go to as you can see guys right here it says integration and api we're gonna click on here <sighs> And always look for, always, always guys look for the API key. This key right here, it allows you to, you can copy this, I don't care, I'm not using this uh, account anymore. Uh, make sure this is, this to keep it private guys, okay? I'm giving this public because I don't care about this particular account. Uh, I don't use it anymore. So this is our IP, I, API key. When you copy this, you're gonna have to copy and paste it inside your website, inside your uh, page where you want to capture leads, okay? So in this case, in this case, I already have the uh, API copy inside my website. Now, this is the autoresponder. So this is like the main, the main link of your uh, autoresponder or get response software. Now, here's the autoresponder API key. Now we need the token ID. Where do we want people to go? Where do we, which list we want people to go to? So in this case, for my website, I'm trying to send people to this list right here. We're gonna go to my list. Move this around a little bit, okay. 
So if I want people that visit my website, they, I want them to go to Andres' number one list in order for me to send people from my website to, uh, to this list, I'm gonna go to where it says settings. And then as you can see guys, right here is uh, under Andres want list. Let me show you real quick. Right here guys, this right here is your token. Not this, not, not this, not, uh only this right here this is my my token list so once i copy this token right here i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and paste that token right here this is a totally different token guys because i'm using another uh, list but that's it this is where But this is it guys, so this is it. This is how you connect your autoresponder. Remember, go inside your website, go to pages, edit pages, and then inside your pages, you're gonna have to, ha you're gonna have to add a newsletter, and then inside, inside your newsletter, you're gonna, get, you're gonna have to add autoresponder. Mm. Let me hold on, guys, in one second. All right, so there it is, guys. Here's my, I already connected my autoresponder with my website. My autoresponder is already linked inside my website. And I already have the tokens right here where I want people to be where where do i which list i want people to be sending out to okay so in this case people whenever they visit my website they they're gonna go to andres list right let me show you so people that visit my visits my website that's gonna go redirected to this list and as you can see i have zero yet but eventually i will have some people coming in right and then, from, uh, and then once people opt in, up once people puts in their email through your website, and then they get, they go, they get redirected to your autoresponder. You're gonna have to have already a an autoresponder set up so that way, whenever people put, put uh, gives your gives your email. The system will be able to like automatically send them offers or whatever it is that you're selling, right? So this is it, my friend, for this particular video. I hope you, I hope this can help you. If there's anything else that I can help you with, please leave some comments below, and I'll and I'll be more than happy to make a video just for you for whatever it is that you need help with. Okay? So that was it, guys. I'm going to, uh, on my next video, I'm going to teach you guys how to create pages inside your websites, okay? And how to create a blog and how to link your uh, products to your website and blogs and how to create content in a blog, how to write on a blog, how to create uh, different, I'm going to teach you guys how to create all these pages right here. Like the homepage, blog posts, contact me, products about me, how to add your Amazon products how to how to uh add the privacy policy and so on and so on okay uh, about me page products that's a little bit of me right there i don't use this website at all i just use this website to like train people okay and i'm also going to show you guys how to add this social media links okay all right i'll see you in my next video guys i hope this can help you a little bit please leave some comments below and subscribe to my video, like it, give me a thumbs up. All right, my friends, I'll see you on my next video. Thank you so much.